Hey, what's happening? I'm Miles Kennedy, and you are geeking out to Gear Guides. What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. I am back with Miles Kennedy. We are going to do another weekly riff. Miles has an acoustic album, his new solo album, Year of the Tiger. It's coming out March 9th. March 9th. Be yeah. sure to pick it up. So we're going to learn to play the song, which is called... The title track, Year of the Tiger. It's called the title track. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to learn to play the title Touché. track, Year of the Tiger, which is in a wacky tuning a and wacky. capo. So you're going to tell us what that is because I have no idea. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of wacky. So you just put the, the capo on the seventh fret, and then from there you're going to tune, you know, it'll, it'll ring out as an A, E, A, D, F sharp, and then A. What do you call that? Year of the Tiger tuning. I call the Year of the Tiger tuning. <laughs> I, I I basically think of it like in my in my head before the capo, like drop D, mm -hmm. but with the the high, the high E drop down to D as well. So okay. It's just got a nice. So it's kind of like. It's got a nice. Drum. I've heard some people refer to that as double drop D. Double drop D. Because it's double drop doubles, D, and then you also double drop, drop D. Very interesting. Very we'll see if I can barely navigate standard tuning. So we'll see how this goes. But you, so why don't you go ahead and play the riff for us? as it is full full tilt. Okay, full tilt. So it's just got a real pulse to it. And and a lot of it's the it's it's about the accents. Um, so a lot of it is with your yeah, your right hand, you want where you where you accent. But uh, think of it like a you're just doing a D5 chord essentially, like you would do down here. Okay. But you're doing it up here, so you hit the uh, the oh, yep. Good. Perfect. And then so it's so funny that when you normally play it, and then when you have to stop, <laughs> stop and, like, and think about it's it. It's like what, what was I doing there? You're like you're like I'm a performer, not a goddamn guitar teacher. Well, like I, I do it. I do it how I do it. <laughs> I used to be a guitar teacher a long time ago, but to actually try and Teach the, the parts, it totally uses mm -hmm. with your head. So, so a, D5 a D5 thing. A D5 thang. Okay, so you can watch, good. And then you drop your middle finger down to the uh, tenth fret, correct. And then you're gonna, next you're gonna go down to the uh, eighth fret, and then that's it. And that's the pattern. Okay. And, you're, and it's really just about what you're right. Sorry, I also forgot to tell you that you're going to go up to the 10th fret. Yeah. Okay. A little right before you go, right before it loops back right, around. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, it's it. hard to it's hard to nail the same uh, sort of dynamic um, way that you strum it, but it's uh, but that's that's reasonably close. That's great. Yeah. It's funny because on the acoustic guitar, dynamics are everything, yeah, and I play everything. electric guitar ninety five percent of the time, right. and there's still dynamics involved, except that I play metal, so there's no dynamics involved. So um, well, it's a different it's, kind it's of dynamic, real, a different kind it, of attack. You yeah. Know? It's mostly one, like 127 all the time, right, but right, right. but this is this is uh, has a nice it the whole groove is right in here. You know, you play it with a band or without a band, you can still feel where all the pulses are. Yeah, and one of the things you can do, and so you know, maybe um, when I when I first started getting into the style, is you just just mute the uh, mute your strings and just practice the rhythm with your right hand. So yeah, it's where, it's where, it's, it's about that accent, you know. Yeah, it's almost like that's the that's the snare drum of that's the exactly. of the guitar. <laughs> and then you add the. Cook. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Great. 
perfect. That's good. That's really, that's really fun. There's not really only two parts to this song. It's really, it's okay. really simple. You can add the um, essentially the chorus. I'll just play it real quick. So basically what you're doing is go to the, um, play the open D here, or whatever that is, mm -hmm. the ninth fret, leave the next string open, 11th fret. Good, and then the next pattern is, you just move that whole thing down, but add your pinky on the B string. Actually, you could do it, it kind of depends. So I, I put my pinky here just in case I hit that B string and it rings Okay, up. but you're... Yeah. Right. Okay, so... Good. Great. So you're uh, skipping a string. You can. Sometimes I hit them both, though. Oh, yeah. Kind of gives it a mandolin sound. Yeah. Then you make kind of an odd shape here. You take your ring finger and put it on the 11th fret and on the D string or whatever, E string or whatever you want to call it. Mute this string with the flesh of this finger. Uh, and then you can hit that open string. And then uh, ninth fret, uh, right, 10th fret here. Nice. It's like an inversion. Correct. Like it's basically this is the root, it's and then that's the third. It's basically yeah, an A and first first position, first inversion. Nice. Yeah, and then a very Beatlesque change. Can't go wrong. Nope. Is it? Uh, oh. A, yeah. And then. Sus a sus style nine shape sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> a add nine. Add nine. What if, what would be an ad, an a add nine shape if we weren't capoed in a weird tune? Exactly. Same. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Nice. So it's technically, okay. I guess a D. And you know, what is that? Is that E? Would be like an E add nine. <laughs> really good. Great job. Thanks. I didn't really think it was, but <laughs> but hey, it's man. a really great chord progression. That it, even just inside of that, there's all these this all this movement, like like voices crossing yeah. in interesting ways. It's, you're not just banging out some block chords, <laughs> you know. And uh, it's really beautiful. So this is the title track, title track of yeah. your album. Uh, Year of the Tiger comes out March 9th. What's the happening? What's, what's the happening? <laughs> what's the ha what's the happening for this? For this for this year of the Tiger uh, tour cycle. Yeah. yeah. So uh, is it going to be called Tour of the Tiger? Tour of the Tiger. Because if it isn't, you missed a great opportunity. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> no. Uh, the Tour of the Tiger. <laughs> The, uh, the tour will start, actually, we're leaving uh, on the very beginning of March, and we're going to do, uh, uh, we're starting in South Africa, and then we're going to shoot up to uh, were meaning um, my posse. Yeah. <laughs> my posse and me. Um, because it's going to be pretty much solo. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going up there without a band. Uh, wow. I'll, I'll bring my friend Tim up for, for some numbers, but otherwise I'm, I'm going to be walking the... Uh, Musical tightrope. It'll be interesting. Wow. For, for an hour and a half, two hours. Out on a limb. And out on a limb. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to play songs from really the last, uh, you know, 20 years of my career with a health, healthy dose of the Year of the Tiger tracks. And so, yeah, we'll do, we'll start, in, you know, we're, we'll start there and up to Europe, UK, and then we'll come back to the States in May. And um, then we're hoping to actually put a band together later this year and, and tour the Year of the Tiger exclusively. So. Great. Well, uh, very much looking forward to it. Right Thank on, you man. so much. Thanks for this having me. This has been me. really cool. Right and uh, cool. So we'll see you soon. See you.